guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make both some PetSafe glue and PetSafe colouring or paint. These come in really useful for a lot of homemade toys and treats. They're completely safe to be eaten and they give you a lot more options when it comes to crafting for pets. For the PetSafe glue you're only going to need two ingredients, flour and water. For a mild glue suitable for paper and card projects, mix one part flour with two parts water. That means if you use one teaspoon of flour, then add two teaspoons of water. Mix it until it's smooth with no lumps and it's ready to use. For a slightly stronger glue that can be used on slightly bigger projects, use more flour than water so you get a thick paste. Then heat it in a pan until it starts to bubble. Use it while it's still hot. Flour glue is really useful, but it does take a long time to dry and it isn't strong enough for really big or complicated projects. If you need a glue that's really strong, I recommend using a hot glue gun, but making sure that the glue sticks say non-toxic on the packaging. As long as you're only using a very small amount, then it's going to be okay, but watch for signs of chewing in the glued area and remove it from your pet if necessary. PetSafe colouring is incredibly useful. You can use it for painting toys, colouring treats, all sorts of things. To make it, you're going to need a safe fruit or vegetable in the colour you want. For these examples, I'm going to be showing you how to make three different colourings from carrots, lettuce and berries. First, you need to chop up your fruit and veg into smaller pieces. This will make it easier to get the colour out. If you're using a hard fruit or vegetable, you will need to use a blender to get the best results. I'm going to be using a blender for the carrot and lettuce. Pour a small amount of water into the blender. The amount depends on how much colouring you want and how vibrant you want the colour. The more water you put in, the lighter the colour is going to be. Put your fruit or veg in there too. Replace the lid and give the whole thing a good blend. Once the mix is smooth, you'll need to separate the pulp from the colour. Using a strainer over a bowl, pour the mix through. The pulp should remain in the strainer while the colouring will go into the bowl. There we go, a lovely shade of orange that's going to be perfect for painting or using in treats. I've used that exact same method on the lettuce to get this deep green shade. As berries are a soft fruit, you don't have to use a blender for them, so I'm going to show you an alternative method that uses a pan instead. Pour your desired amount of water into the pan and add your soft fruit. Bring everything to a boil and start stirring well. If you stop stirring, the water will boil away and you will lose your colour, so keep on going until the fruit begins to pulp. You should notice that the water begins to change colour. This will take about 5-10 to 10 minutes at the most, and then you just have to repeat the straining step to separate the fruit pulp from the colouring. And there we are, lovely, vibrant colours that are completely edible. When used as a paint, the colour will be slightly paler, but you can paint on several layers to darken it, or use more fruit and veg when making it. In the description box is going to be a list of safe fruits and vegetables that you can use for making other colours as well. If you don't mind spending the money, a commercial alternative to these homemade colours would be vegetable-based food dye. You can find them in the baking sections of most supermarkets, but they can be quite pricey. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I hope it's been useful to you. Don't forget if you enjoyed it to press the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already, it really really helps this channel to grow. Take care everyone and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye! Hello guys, today I have a very easy tutorial for you showing you how to make a coconut hideaway like the ones you can buy in pet shops. All you need for this is a coconut, a bowl, a spoon or sharp knife, an electric drill and a 